One thing I've never understood is why CFers always complain about not being able to take a shower when you have your port accessed. I just woke up, so ignore my puppy face, but I'm gonna show you how easy this is. Step one, make sure you're not hooked up. Step two, tape your lumen so it's not dangling anywhere. And ignore how red I am right here. I just use an alcohol pad to wipe off some of the old like tape goo that sticks to you. And before the ladies chime in with, Morgan, it's different. We have long hair. Trick is to keep your body, your back into the shower head. This side of your body into the shower head. Not this side. Boom, and that's all there is to it. And before you say, oh Morgan, but you get water on the lumen. There's no water anywhere, and my lumens have green caps on them. It keeps anything from getting on the ends. And there's no water anywhere on this. This is all dry, everywhere's dry. <clears throat> it's really just common sense, like to be able to take a shower with a poor excess. <coughs> I also used to do the same thing with a pick line. Cause let me tell you, I ain't got time to go and tape saran wrap around shit or wrap my arm in saran wrap that just it's too long and half the time it doesn't work and I just ain't got time for that. Also, check out this weight gain y'all. So you know in my videos I've chronicled how body issues are a big thing with me and how I can tell when I start to gain or lose weight. And if you look back at that video I always I talked about right here, my ribs will start stinking in and my chest will start caving in. As you can see all this is starting to fill out. All that good hospital food. And yeah, that's really my hospital routine. I wake up and I try to get a shower before anything. It just helps me get going, helps me feel normal. And I let my hair dry while I do my treatments right after I get out of the shower. And the only thing I do to my hair is put a little bit of this in there, this sleek and shine leave-in conditioner, just so it doesn't look so much like a poodle whenever it dries. Boom. And yeah, I don't brush my hair or anything like that because straight hair is just really boring. And if I brush my hair, it gets even poofier than usual. So I just kind of, uh, I just let it do its own thing. Run my fingers through it, give it a couple of, get a couple of leaves, get a couple of the metal windmills. Stand here, you know, just. That was my very quick and half awake tutorial on how to take a shower whenever your port is accessed. But that also applies to pick lines and whatnot. One of those people that have a port like here or even in your arm, you can still do that. Just angle your body away from the water. It's very, it's common, it's, it's really, it's just common sense. Don't just, you can't take a full on shower and just dunk your whole body. Just angle it, don't let it get near, and make sure you have like a green cap on the end of your lumens, just so you know, no little droplets get on the very end of it, and there's really no, there's no danger, there's no threat. Like, no need to be paranoid. But if you are still paranoid, bring some saran wrap with you to the hospital, and then just tape some over your port. Because they have stuff for it here on the floors, but I am very impatient. So that's why I started trying to figure out ways to take showers without it. Because when I'm ready to take a shower, I'm ready. Ain't nobody got time to sit around and wait. Now it's time to knock out all of my treatments. My respiratory therapist, they just leave everything in here for me. Uh, because they usually round at like 7.30. And I don't ever get up at 7.30 to do treatments. <clears throat> and it's just annoying when you have those respiratory therapists who just sit there and stare at you while you do your treatments. So they just leave everything in here for me because they know I'm gonna do it myself and I pretty much know everybody on this floor because they've been taking care of me ever since the CF floor was on the third floor. And so yeah, I sit here and catch up on my emails and uh, let my hair dry. And after that, I'll be eat some breakfast and go get some coffee. So yeah, gonna do that. No, 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 no.
While in the hospital, I watched some of my favorite movies, one of them being The 40 Year Old Virgin. If not, if not shaking. You know what you're doing? You sure? Mm -hmm. I'm here. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have faith in you. All right, so take a deep breath for me. This is a pain to get this on the pick one. All right, homie. All right, appreciate it, man. It's like this, right? Yep, this side up. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, does it say this side up? It yeah. does say this side cheap. up. It's a little cheat cheat. All right. I'm trying to figure out which what's the best way to attack attack this. Whichever way you can get it on is what would work best. There's no uh as long as it's like under yeah, yeah. that's what you're doing. You're a pro. Listen, biopatch, I need you to spread for me. Oh, boom, there we go. Yeah, that was way easier than people are. Okay. Uh, come down a little bit. Yep. Is it good? That's it. That's perfect. <laughs> perfect. Smooth her out. Oh, wait. Is the date thing on that? It's right here on this. Oh, that's, yeah. that's what keeps trying to come off on you. It would have actually been easier to date it before I put it on, but hey. Like, where is. Perfect. Good job. Sweet. Yeah, I just gotta convince him to let me access it. Plus. I hope you recorded that because now you can show people how to uh, change it. Realize it wasn't a uh, cystic one. Cystic one? Yeah. Put with a K because I, I don't know why there's a K, but it just seemed catchier than just cystic spelling it normally. Look who's back, everybody. Mini Mall. Oh, look, we're flannel twins. I won't, I won't let these doors close, I swear I won't. Mm. Don't. We're good, let's go. Gosh. And don't say it was just three brothers. Don't. Oh, it's a little, a little. Can you smell it? No. Darn, that one doesn't smell. What do you think, Jesus? Harder song. Do I have any farts in me tonight? So, all the old mad white women can't complain about nothing. I got me all rubbing, rubbing the old bunion. Trying to hold my breath because your feet stinks really bad. I've rubbed your back and rubbed icy hot all over your oily oldness so many times. My back don't smell like Frida. I, you know what, if technology will come out with people can smell through that, then people will feel my pain and know how bad it is. I have arthritis in my fingers. No, you don't. My fingers hurt. Come on, I need to lay it too. Like, Which one? Where at? The band that, that runs along the bunion. Band. Yeah. Bands will make yeah, a they... dance. Bands will make a dance. Did <laughs> you want that so much? Bands, 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 what, and the thing you handed me was, it looked like if you've ever gotten a straw wrapper and put it between your fingers and do this, it was like a, it was a toothpick. It was a toothpick joint. And you were like, look at this. That's good right there. And it was falling, it, it, it was did, falling apart. It did its job, it served its purpose, and that's all that mattered, baby. It's all that mattered. Get a girlfriend to rub your feet. Well, Not I don't. Me, I, well, I just got my heart broken, and women are the devil. So, 
Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Excuse with me, you. I'm a woman too, so you're calling me you're, the you're, devil. You're like, you're like half and half. <laughs> like half and half oh, milk. Half man, a half woman. Yeah, yeah. Why mm. would you smell your own fingers after you're rubbing someone's feet? That just because is... I want to know if it's on my skin. You can wash it your. Is this Dorito fingers? It's like you can I'm wash there. your hands. I don't know. You know how, like, if you cut up an onion and the onion funk gets on your fingers and it lingers? <laughs> that was like, this is gonna linger on the I thought you were gonna, I thought you were gonna rhyme with that. It's gonna linger on the finger. I'm gonna lay by the bay and eat some hay. I just know. When I was 29, I got drunk for the first time in my life. 29. It was like years and years and years. Okay, so. 29. I don't really know where I was going with that, but 20. Yeah, I think you just had. I, I saw the. I saw the Alzheimer's kicking up with that one. Your your brain just went. Put my finger all right away. You got drunk. That's a, that's a. Oh, oh God. That's a, that's a, that's terrible. <laughs> that looks kinky, but that's. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stinky winky. Stop doing stuff. Oh, oh my god, that's wet. Oh, it's just the floodgates are open now. It's like a record that's like real slow. Stop it. Morgan, that is not funny. There's only so much video footage that you can do of farts. Uh oh, that, the farts are the, you, like just universally hilarious. All right, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this vlog. Funny thing I'm saying that, but I have no clue what's gonna go into it because basically I'm gonna take all of the footage that you just saw and try to combine it into a vlog. I have a little, uh, this is my vlog HQ while I'm in the hospital, my little side table in the recliner. <clears throat> but thank you guys for your continued support. And oh yeah, I forgot one thing. You know, I made the thank you video. Like, why, why do I have these on right now? That, that, that makes no sense. You know I made the thank you video about all, everything you guys have sent. Well, it's like doubled. I'd like, I'm, I, I like have a jungle of balloons right now and all the stuffed creatures and flowers I could ever want. Also, this is not a joke. This is 100% the truth. The gift, the gift shop no longer has any chocolate. No one else in the hospital can have chocolate because it's all in my room. One of the crappy things about that is I'm on contact precaution slash isolation because I have cystic fibrosis. So I can't kind of give the food out to the candy to anyone and share it with people. Cause I was gonna just share it with the people on my floor, but I'm not allowed. But I'm going to ask the doctor tomorrow if when I get out, the day that I get out, if I'm allowed to donate all these balloons to the children's hospital, which is right over, you can't see it, but it's right there. That's the children's hospital. But kids love balloons and balloons just make your day. And I imagine by Tuesday, I'm gonna have even more. So I'll have plenty of balloons to go around. So hopefully they'll be cool with that because I haven't really touched the balloons and they stay behind me. So I haven't really coughed near them or on them, but we'll just see what hospital policy is about all that. But I mean, again, thank you guys so much for all the love that you have given. Like it's just, it's just overwhelming. But uh, I'm gonna get to work on trying to make a vlog out of all this random stuff that I've shot. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed whatever you just watched right then. <laughs> Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then ding the little bell so you don't miss any notifications moving forward. You know the drill. Anyways, that's all for right now, you guys. I love you all. I'll see you on the next one. Later.